The Bulletin Man joins you on this Friday. It's July 9th and it's 2010 and it is a wonderful day here in mid-America. That's why I'm outside. Actually, I'm remodeling the bunker and not quite ready for prime time yet. But it's coming. I got my hat on today because the Bulletin Man's hair is going to stray. And what hair I do have left, I'm pray for the Bulletin Man's hairline. Uh, I see my son Levi's hair is like down to here. I used to be the same way. I've got pictures to prove it too. Hey, it's a, a wonderful Friday, and I certainly hope that uh, you're saved. Uh, I've really been on my heart here lately to tell as many people as I possibly can that it's time to get it right with God. Jesus is soon to come. We have a new member of the F F Winehouse family. This is Madel the puppy. Madel is a full, and there's Penny the puppy right over there. Hold on, I got to show you Penny, get her equal time. There's Penny the puppy. Penny and Madel are getting along just wonderful. They're both females. And we had some issues with that at first, but I think it's all good now. Madel comes from my ex-wife, Nicole. Nicole Louise. She had five or seven of these little blessings. And uh, these are full-blooded Australian Shepherds. This is called a tripart or something like that because she's got three colors on her. But uh, she's only seven weeks old. But Nicole and Waldo, her husband, Wayne Waldo Thompson, along with Wyatt Daniel and Carter, are headed to Florida to swim in the Gulf of Mexico. I told them not to. I told them to stay away from the Gulf of Mexico. Don't you know you want to get in the area because the air, the toxic chemicals that are being put off by this oil spill. And, uh, the stuff they're using to clean it up has been banned in Europe. It's called Corexit. It's the, uh, they used it in the Exxon Valdez oil spill back in 89. And very few of those people who cleaned that oil spill up are actually even alive anymore. Um, and it's only been 21 years. Uh, folks, they're out to kill us. Uh, the people in power who run this country hate all those that hate God, love death. And they love death. And it is written in stone down in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones, that uh, they hope to sustain a world's population of 500,000 people. Let me get Madel in there. Madel's such a cute puppy. He's got a bless Madel. But Madel's got the, she wants to cruise around here. Uh, it's called the Georgia Guidestones. It's written in stone that uh, they're out to kill us, 92% of the population. And they want to rewild America, or the, basically the world, but there is a map. Um, it's under Agenda 21, it's called The Rewilding of America. I find this information on the cuttingedge.org uh, website, which you can link to off of mine, um, where there's certain areas they don't want people in. And one of those areas is the coast, uh, the Gulf Coast. Uh, British Petroleum, which is uh, actually the world's oldest oil company, has not started it all, it's BP. Uh, I went into Saudi Arabia and developed those fields back in, uh, darn near 100 years ago. But British Petroleum um, had a operating policy uh, which was operate to failure. Uh, they're not going to fix anything until it's totally broken. And on April 20th, which is the beginning of Beltane, which requires a fire sacrifice, 11 BP workers perished when they started pumping seawater down the well as opposed to mud. And they have big arguments ensued, and uh, as soon as it caught fire, um, there was a conversation. Uh, someone talking to someone in Houston over the satellite phone saying, Are you effing happy? The rig is on fire. Um, and why would they do this? Uh, to, to achieve again, Agenda 21, uh, to kill a lot of people off with the benzene and the methane. Um, and to eventually instill martial law. They plan, they're going to have to evacuate. The whole area. Um, the U.S. Navy has gotten out of the Gulf. They moved their ships to Costa Rica. There goes my Costa Rican trip, my, my exile in Costa Rica. I think I believe Hugo is looking really good now. I don't know about Hugo. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, they are evacuating the Gulf. So uh, we're in trouble. We need to get on our knees and pray. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, Turn from their wicked ways. We get to turn. Uh, then shall I hear from heaven and heal their land. And uh, we got to pray. Chronicles, uh, Second Chronicles, seven fourteen. I think that is. Because yeah, indeed, perilous times have come. Men shall be lovers of themselves, proud, boasters, blasphemers, heady, high-minded traitors, 
the fungus is indeed among us. The traitors are definitely among us. 911, who are the real terrorists? Folks, just get saved. Jesus is soon to come. Can't tell you when. Could be for me today. I don't know. But I'm ready. And I just pray that you get ready too. We live at the most exciting time in the history of mankind. We're, gonna, we're seeing the fulfillment of prophecy every day. And uh, the seas will be turned to the blood. That's exactly what that oil looks like. One third of the water has been made bitter. Think about it, folks. The Bible's for real. Jesus is for real. And if you seek him with your whole heart, man, if you really want to know him, he'll show him. He'll, he'll reveal yourself, himself to you. Um, in the beginning was the Word. The Word is with God. The Word was God. you got to read the Word of God. Uh, I read the King James only because uh, I really truly believe that the King James is the inspired Word of God for the English language. And there's something about it, man. It's the engrafted Word which is able to save your soul. I can just totally recite whole chapters. Uh, and it, I don't even think about it, man. It just goes from my heart to my mouth and don't even go through my head. It's really supernatural. And there's power in the Word. He's magnified His Word even above His name. In the name of Jesus Christ, and, you know, I mean, God bless the, the Christians who call Him Yeshua, your Mashiach, Christ the Messiah. But they're not Hebrew. I mean, they don't speak Hebrew. Uh, his name is Jesus Christ. And uh, we need to call upon that name. So the Word says that, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. So you get to call upon the name of Jesus. He wants to save you. He wants to be with you. Man. He wants to fill you with his Holy Ghost. Once you get saved, then ask the Heavenly Father to indwell you or fill you with the Holy Ghost. You already got a portion of the Holy Ghost. Um, but it's like turning on a fountain. Turn on a faucet, man. You can turn it on at least a little bit or you can turn it all the way open. And you turn on the hot water, it's going to burn. And ask for the Holy Ghost and fire with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And then you can go out and uh, literally shake nations and shake worlds and, and change people's lives one life at a time. You know what? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And that's what you have in America here today. There's such a deception. Pray for this great nation. Pray for me. Pray for the bulletin man. Pray for those people who are being unjustly uh, persecuted and prosecuted by our, our your tax dollars, folks. You're paying to house people who don't need to be in jail, and the ones who do need to be in jail are, are walking the streets. Lawlessness has indeed come. And um, I don't know what else to tell you. I really um, think a military solution, military option, is uh, certainly viable and uh, is really the only answer, short of a miracle. Um, and I, I think we can fully justify that. But. God is merciful and slow to anger and plenty of mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his angers forever. His hand is stretched out still. So we're, before we resort to that, and, um, you know, it's I'm trying to get through this without having to harm anyone. Um, thou shalt do no harm. I never, <laughs> never was a doctor, but, you know, I, I do believe in the hypocritical, uh, hypocritic, hypocritical oath that thou shalt do no harm. And uh, I don't want to harm anyone. Jesus didn't come to destroy men's life. He came to save them. Of course, I'll defend myself if I have to. And um, with everything I got, and God will take care of me. But I just beg you all, plead with you like that little puppy over there is pleading. Um, cry and wail and moan for you to get saved and you to get right with God, especially you folks who worked in Hillsborough at the courthouse, courthouses in general. The lawyers are liars, man. It's a fold. The whole thing is a fraud, man. It really is. So enjoy your beautiful day. Bulletin Man's vacation is about over. It's time to get back to work. The election is coming up. we got people to get out and talk to. But uh, I do love you. I do appreciate you tuning in to the Bulletin Man video broadcast on this Friday, July 9th. It's 2010. Uh, be praying for the Bulletin Man. I'm working on a book deal. and um, It's looking really positive. And maybe even a reality television show. But... Uh, I just be praying for, for Bulletin Man, be praying for Janie from High Profile Media, uh, and be praying for just God's favor to be upon me uh, and, and upon, upon everyone who supports me. And, and I appreciate your prayers more than you could ever imagine. Uh, the effectual for brother the righteous does indeed avail much. God bless you. Tell a friend about me. I am the one and only Bulletin Man. See ya.